Welcome back. Welcome back. As we cut through the water of the Zunless Zs, um, we're heading to Port Cecil, the principals. We're going to give them I think hopefully the last, the last thing, yeah. And we're going to see what happens. And, you know, I... I I I don't know what's gonna happen. Yeah, I I didn't really wasn't ex I didn't know anything about the uh, uh, the principles as a quest chain. It kind of uh, just sprung on us, you know. Yeah, it it really did spring on us, and I didn't realize that there was another cook. Yeah, it was due to one of our commenters that uh, they were like, "Oh, you, there's one la one cook you can get. He's but you have to play chess." So we came here and played chess, and it started this whole adventure. <laughs> yeah, and boy, what an adventure it's been. Yeah, we learned a lot more about ourselves and. Gather intelligence, okay. An extra move. Here we go. And we've got we got plenty of whole space. Give the principal's heart metal. I long for my ending, but I fear it beside. This is needed to encase my fear. Ice and oysters. The trap jaws. Give me courage. I want so to be less. Give it to me. Here we go. Whoop. Your payment is there. In the corner. And here, in this secret, I was forbidden love by the bazaar. When I left the world exile, I don't regret it. I never regret it. Okay. There's seven centilac. A secret. Oh, the and last game. Yeah, now we have to play him at chess. <clears throat> All right, hold on. I gotta. <clears throat> my throat's gonna need a little. Uh, <sighs> I will miss chess most when this is done. The black ways, my children's glows. Let them pass. But oh, my sweet diagonal, it's time. Afraid I find. Quickly, the board awaits. The emissary, trembling, takes his place across the board from you. He will dissolve with me, the principal tells you, consolingly. It's for the best. You must win the game. Defeat him, and he and I will end. I will leave the treasure. Hurry, my thoughts grow burdensome. So we have a couple options. We can win the match, we can lose the match. We can throw the game. Uh, so if we win the match, it'll reduce the principal as he desires. But it seems like it'll also destroy the, the outcast. Hmm. If we lose the match, uh, it will leave the principals alive and trapped, uh, defeating the purpose of the whole quest, and possibly save the outcast's life. I know we really like having a cook. Yeah. But I really want to win this match. But what's best for the outcast? Oh, you want to win? Yeah. I mean, I do want to win. I don't know what... It says... Like, this is this is the one thing. It uh, The outcast stands trembling behind the board, ready to enact the principal's mind. Its mind will be destroyed with its masters. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know... I don't know if that's good or bad. It's, uh, it sounds pretty bad. It sounds bad. I don't know. Perhaps you pity the outcast. I... I do pity the outcast, but that doesn't mean I want him to live. <laughs> well, I don't. It's I don't. your call, Captain. Ugh, tough choices. I know. It's I want. It's I, a good choice if it's tough. Yeah, I know. I want to win the match. That's what I really want to do. I want to see what this this treasure is. I don't want it all to be for naught. We've we've lost so many things before. Like, I'm put into a vote. Ugh. I don't know. I just. Hmm. I, I mean, I'm all for the Nacreous survivor and stuff like that, and I feel bad for him, but don't don't the rubbery men have, like, short lives anyway? I don't they're, know. I don't I, know. I don't know much about them. I, I, remember, I remember reading that their life is basically, like, a, a gradual deterioration into coral. So, like, I don't know how... I don't know how great his life is going to be with us anyway. Does it... Can we go to officers well, and Life see? is all the, the sweeter for being shorter. What is his, uh... What does he give us? Hearts. Ugh. We still haven't slept with him. I don't know if uh, we're going to get to I suspect that if you... Oh, uh, I suspect that if we win and free him, we will be able to. I don't know what that'll get us. Yeah. So, 
I, I, I really do want the possibility of treasure from winning the match. All right. The principles will be reduced, as it desires, to a mindless hump of coral. The outcast stands trembling behind the board, ready to enact the principal's moves. Its mind will be destroyed with its masters. Ah, <sighs> yeah, let's do it. Sorry, sorry, guy. Oh. Oh, no. Well, we have to decide what to keep. Uh, oh, I'm going to lose three supplies, I think. Okay. There we go. We're good. Move and counter move. The pieces click and hiss on the board. The victory is easy. The emissary whimpers and topples his own kin. He begins to melt like snow in a desert wind. Syntalax sloughs from the roof, gathers around you in great shining drifts. The voice of the principles washes over you like the Z, urgently chanting secrets. For every one you hear, another two are lost to the grind in the rock, or incomprehensible to a mind that has not layered centuries beneath the waves. But you learn, and learn. Your brain is bursting with knowledge. Now the voice of the principles falters, is gone. It subsides into the happy mindfulness with a last melodious sigh. The outcast's face blinks at you from its puddle of goo, and then it too dissolves. The wakeful idol which sat on the chessboard now squats at your feet, eyes bright. The principles had suggested it would become more, and when the principles becomes less, it seems a little taller somehow. So we got the apocryphon chess piece. I don't know what we do with it. Twelve, Sintelac. Okay, that's... Well, there we go. Uh, one memory of distant shores. Four lumps of blue, Sintelac. Ooh. You may have use for this, or the alarming scholar will certainly purchase it. Hmm. Uh, 21 secrets. Whoa. Holy balls. A victory, and the Nacreous outcast is gone. Uh, he's gone. And we now have a vigilant idol. What is a vigilant idol? Uh, oh. Uh, we'll check that out later. Yeah. For now, let's... Oh, it's, an, it's a mascot. Oh. Mirrors 4. Uh, actually, I'm going to switch it out. What's the little girl do? Hearts 5. Oh. We got plenty of hearts. Yeah. And uh, mirrors allows us to get gunnery solutions faster, I think. Uh, really? Yeah. Oh, I thought that veils, was just our... Veils is hide. Mirrors uh, increases is how well we can see other people. Oh, okay, okay. We don't have a cook at all. Yeah. There aren't that many cooks in the game, and we, we killed both of them. Well, we gave one away. He's dead to me. <laughs> all right, um, let's look at our hold. Sintelac. Oh, man, it's a lot of Sintelac. I think we're going to have to go see the Pirate King. Or the Fathom King. Yeah, well, we've got 50 Drowning Pearls. What? Lump of Blue Sintelac. Usable in combat. Fill all of your firing solutions instantly. Ugh. Interesting. That seems like a... I mean, it's that's neat. Interesting, but... I, I guess if I wanted to rapid fire a bunch of these, but I'd rather sell them. Yeah, I want to see what the Alarming Scholar is going to give us for them. Yeah, we should probably do more... Uh, we, I think we've been accumulating a bunch of stuff to turn into oh. her slash him anyway. Oh, boy, have we. Yeah. Oh, okay, boy. Okay, so I... Th I think we're done here. I think, yeah, we'll, and we're full on everything. Yeah, I would. I, okay, so let's. Mostly see, we're, we're full we, of Sintelac. Do we want to stop by the Fathom King and just? What do we want to do with that Sintelac? Uh, I want to dump off all of the regular Sintelac with the Fathom King. Okay. Because it's just taking up whole space, and it, we can trade it for drowning, uh, drowning pearls. Okay. Which I still have not got my full fill of. Okay. Yeah, we've got fifty of those. Can always um, use more. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, let's trade. Let's go to the Fathom King. Trade our Sintelac. And say goodbye to our nacreous friend. Goodbye, sweet prince. Goodbye, slimy prince. Sweet rubbery prince. I wish this is this is when it'd be good to have the sound of like uh, like taps, rubber boots. Oh. Oh, I was gonna. Oh. <laughs> like you know that sound it makes when squeaking around in a rubber jacket or anything. Okay. Anything rubbery. So, like, we can hear his voice in the wind? Yeah, that... Well, and when you said taps, that instantly filled a gap, too. Like, the sound of rubbery boots fading to, like, the sound of taps. Ma, ma, ma. Ma, ma, ma. And uh, I wonder what this chess piece is for. I do not know. I don't remember even seeing a thing to sell it anywhere. I, except for, of course, where we just left. I think I might have seen it somewhere, but I don't know where... Maybe it's a marvel of technology. Maybe we can give <laughs> yeah, it to the Fathom King. Maybe the Fathom King wants it. Hell, maybe maybe it's something the curator wants? Maybe it's one of the colors of the Z? Yeah. That's actually one of the better ideas. What okay. colors do we still need? Carved from coral. It cannot be sold. A All right, so... Uh, we still need those four colors. A... Let's see. Colors, colors, colors. They were in our hold, I thought. 
right there, those num those letters, A, C, G, V. Yeah, but it doesn't tell us what we're missing. Those are, yeah, we had like eight of them, or nine of them now. Now there's only four left. You're saying these are the ones we don't have. Yes, those are the ones we don't have. Apoxian. Apocrian. That is that. That's the Apocian chess piece. Apocian. Apo. Okay, yeah. Apo. Apocian. Looks like cyan to me. Oh. In the uh, the, the cyan color. magenta yellow color wheel. Yeah. Okay. Well, good. That solves that mystery. Yeah. There. There we go. I'd rather we could sell it, but screw that. Let's get the curator. Get that ship, maybe. Yeah. Well, closer. Eventually. One step closer. Eventually. Fathom King's hold. We got something awaits you. Good to go. Yeah. Huh. Well, that's nice. Yeah, I'm. I'm excited. I didn't expect to get another piece out of that. I was actually uh, while we were just doing other stuff. I was like, I wonder where the rest of those colors are. Yeah, there's. But it's always been something like surprising or hard to get. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a little bummed that we didn't have or that we the flute core thing. Trade for drowning pearls. Yeah. Okay, how many more of these things do we have? Twelve. So, I'm going to do the same thing before. Just pull out a port and wait. All right. And now we play the waiting game. Do, 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 do. Oh, there it is. There's something that awaits you. All right, we're back in business. Let's pull back in. You want some more? Path of King, trade for more drowning pearls. Hey. So now we're down to five drowning pearls. Which is, oh, uh, five cent lack. Oh, sorry, it's five cent lack. I so guess we didn't have any hold space, but now been, we do. Would have been nice to. I'm saying to, we could have uh, searched the shore to fill up those last two spots. Oh, eh. but that's okay. Well, that's we, a, five is a lot easier. to Well, let's to get our with. port report first before we leave. We go. Now let's go to London. Let's see. Oh yeah, going to London. And we're gonna get married. Going to London and then Venderbite. Yeah. By way of London. Splander blogging. <laughs> Yeah, we've, uh, I've, I've actually, weirdly enough, you've, I've gotten better at saying the name. Yeah, well, over time, I've gotten more used to how it's supposed to be said. Yeah. But I'm really trying not to lose the magic, it, oh. the magic of mispronouncing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I think I've been lazily just calling it Vendor Braun the last few times. Vendor Blugen has come out. Yeah, Vendor Blugen's a, a, a popular one. <laughs> popular with the kids. Yeah. Today's generation... Kids are all dancing the vendor bluegin. <laughs> uh, it's the devil's dance, I tell you. <laughs> it leads to sinful thoughts. Yeah. All those gyrating bodies. You think I don't know what hold your hand means? <laughs> the devil has hands, and he uses them for holding. <laughs> uh. Uh, it's always funny uh, going back to the different generations, and like, oh, that's the kid's devil music. It's like, this is like the... Uh, uh, like you know, the poppiest uh, 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 dance music, you know, from like the fifties and stuff. Oh yeah. It, it, there was a there was a stand up sketch by uh, Nick Swartzen that I always liked, where he's like, you know, you always think about your grandparents and the music they listen to. I listen to hardcore gangster rap. Oh yeah. He's like, so my kids are gonna come over, and I'm gonna be over there to listen to something. Tell them not to be such little bitches. Yeah, yeah. It just all the uh, yeah the gangster rap and everything. That's gonna be old people music soon enough. If oh, it yeah. isn't already. Don't trust the police. No justice, no peace. Hey, a bound shark. How you doing? Uh, How you doing, guy? Do you want to fight it? Nah, we don't need to. I'm not terribly interested. They don't give us a Z story. As f I've, we haven't gotten any kind of magic out of them. Yeah. Like, I mean, we got plenty of teeth. Sharks yeah. are full of teeth. They're, They're mostly teeth. The day one of them drops a captivating treasure is the day I'm going to change my entire opinion. Well, or like do, a judgment egg. Probably a super rare item. You have to kill like 20 of them or something. Yeah, well, this game is big on like percentage chances. Yeah. So I don't I don't know if it's ever going to I don't know if it has a build up mechanic. Well, I mean, you got to kill 20 of them to even get a chance at dropping it, mm. not 20 in a row. I'm just picking up port reports. Yeah. No, Abbey Rock was my favorite uh my, my favorite Beatles Beatles album album. That joke tumbled out of my mouth in <laughs> yeah. such a way that comedy all about timing and delivery. <laughs> Something I did not do just then. <laughs> I said Beebles, which makes them sound like Justin Bieber's, you know, Beatles knockoff band. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, hmm, Beebles. Sounds like... Uh, yeah, it's sort of like the way uh, the weird pet names people come by their grandparents. Oh, yeah, like, that's what we're going to call Justin Bieber when he's our, like, boyfriend. What? Or, or, or elder. Or... <laughs> How did you jump from grandparents to boyfriends? I don't know. I I, I guess Freud was right. <laughs> Listen, my grandpa, amazing in bed. <laughs> yeah. Trust me. It's too bad uh, he's, that he's a terrible person. It, no, your, I was gonna... your, your grandpa, I mean, not Justin Bieber. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, well, I was going to say, amazing in bed, and then my next comment was going to be how he's been dead for, you know, ten years. It's been good. He... It's been just so romantic the past ten years with them. I mean, he's been dead the entire time, but so romantic. Yeah, he doesn't talk so much. He just listens. <laughs> yeah. That's what I really wanted. Someone to listen. We're out of food. Oh, okay. Not a big deal. We're almost home. Yeah, we got plenty of crew. We'll eat one of them. Almost home. Not a huge loss. Delicious crew. Mm. One of these days, I'm going to trick you into getting the peckish quality. <laughs> like, hey, Captain, we're just making roast beef sandwiches. You want one? <laughs> I'm really like, man, this smells really good. Sure, sure. Like yeah, I said, if we if we end up to go a, around, if we end up in a situation where they're like, you've got to eat a crew member. Fine, let's do it. Well, that's the thing. You don't you don't get the choice to eat a crew member unless you take one of the peckish things. Uh, Nothing to the worst. Okay, like I couldn't messages? remember if we had anything. No, nah, but it only pops up if you don't have anything. Uh, okay, so we are here. Yeah, that's the guy we we're gonna talk. Huh. I could have sworn I just clicked on shops. I thought you did too. Okay, so we can. No, no. Oh, here we go. Let's see what it gives us. Lump of blue scintillac. Oh, I wonder if these count as the colors as well. Maybe. Well, let's not sell. Let's sell one to them. We've got four. Okay. One. Uh, oh. Eight hundred echo. Holy crap. Ooh -hoo. Holy balls. I give, I'm okay with that. And one fragment. Cheapskate. Yeah. Who gives a shit? Wow. It what else? Up to forty-five hundred. Man, we're almost there. 6,000 is what we need for the next ship. Okay, we really should boom north and see what the curator will do with the rest yeah, of these. Yeah, let's... Uh, do you want to turn in our, uh, turn in our port reports real yeah, quick? Yeah, let's see take, what we take get. Take care of that real fast. And go straight to Vanderbrugge. Uh, uh, I'm so excited I've lost track of what I'm doing. <laughs> port reports. Yeah, that's right. Uh, story. Dark Spectacles. Yeah. Port reports. All right. Let's just boom through these way really fast. Yeah, yeah, who cares? I don't give a shit. Lie to him. Yes, good. <laughs> yeah, you're beautiful today. <laughs> 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 no, those pants don't look. You look fat. Yeah. Carouse, great. Someone whose name you don't recall. Yep, yep. Nameless lepers. Fuck them and leave them. That's what I always say. Anyway. <laughs> where can I he, sell? He is constantly selling that. Where can I sell these besides? You can sell them at these shops. I don't remember which one. Uh, up at the top of this one. Sintelac, 70. Huh. That's not bad. Do you want to sell them or do you want to wait for a couple more and try to get them all for yes. drowning pearls? Sell them. All right, get rid of we've them. Got, we've got like Fuck 120 drowning pearls right now. We're up to 5,000? Yep. That's always good. We're almost there. <laughs> so close. Do we Check the hold. All right. Do we just... Monster Salmonac. Um, here's what I want to do. Do you want to sell we're gonna go see. Those? We're going to go see the dude up, up north, mm -hmm. right? Uh, see if he'll, what he'll, if he'll give us the chest piece or those other pieces. If not, everything else gets sold down here. Then we upgrade our ship. Okay. Okay. All right. Where was I? Uh, I need to buy fuel and food. Yeah, we're hungry. Yeah. So very hungry. I'm hungry. Hungry like the wolf. We have 20 fuel to go to Vendorboog? <laughs> well, I'm just filling up. Come on, we're so close to riding the ship! It, it's got it, plenty of hull it, space. It's okay, it's okay. Just... We're going to need the... Oh, how would you like to buy a ship and not have the fuel to dry to fly it anyway? I would rather... Well, I'm more worried about buying a ship and not having the money to buy a rear cannon. Uh, Yeah, okay, so we'd probably save up a little extra on top of that. Uh, anyway. Let's go see which one he wants. So, let's head out. Oh, X. Yeah, let's head out. We've had We had a slow start. But now, now we're gonna go turn in that piece. Yeah, stuff's happening. Stuff's moving along. It was such a, it was such a, dis such a painful decision to try and make whether or not to give up that, uh, give up that dude. Oh yeah, they give but, up the survivor or win the game. Yeah, but if if winning the game and losing our cook means that we get our next ship, I think I think I can sleep a little better at night with that. Hmm. He sacrificed himself so we could be better. Yeah, he's like a he's like a rubbery Jesus. <laughs> Reach out and kind of rub on faith. He's your own personal necro survivor. 
Uh, uh, too bad brought a cooks though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's not a big upgrade, but it's still I like to have those slots filled. It, it's it's it, free points, you know. Yeah, it's free points, but at the same time, they don't do a whole lot for us. And the only, the only thing we've really I like ever seeing done their with smiling the, rubbery faces whenever I look up here. The only thing we've ever really done with the cooks is do their quests. And sometimes they will make us from food while we're out. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be nice if we had a passive buff just for being a cook. You know, like some food. Uh, yeah. Uh, what do they call it? In the same way we have fuel efficiency, some food efficiency. Yeah, that would be good. All right, here we are. Tomb Colony of Venderbite. Uh, yeah. Do we want to see what the, the first creator? Okay, let's see. Story, Tomb Colony. Oh, here we go. First creator. Bam. Oh, we can do okay. a lump of scintillac. Lump of blue scintillac or the chess piece. So that's Apollo, Sion, Apollo, Sion. Either one of these will work. Which one do we want to do? Well, what are we saving the chess piece for? I don't know. I thought this was the only thing we could use it for that wasn't selling it. Yeah. And we know we make on 800 from the scintillac. It's really tempting. Okay. I'm, I'm okay for this. Okay. Yeah, me too. Let's do it. Boom. So, lost that. Gain a captivating treasure. Hooray. Nice. Cage frail fingers. The curator cups its hands over the soft, glowing chess piece. Its face, you see now, is masked with copper. Its fingers wither in the light. A curl of smoke rises, but it only clutches the chess piece tighter. The sea. It whispers. I smell the sea. You smell sorch dust. But here's your payment. In rubies of an antique cut, the curator seems happy. All right. All that's, right. Another, that's another name. Uh, another color down. Here we go. Three left. Yeah. Violent. Uh, Gant. Gant. And Cosmogon. Cosmogon. No idea where to get any of these. Well, it's... Wait, hold on. A... Unlocked with no more than zero, a page from the Neath Bow. Yeah, that's this thing. Oh. Do, do, do. So. Huh. Okay. We're done with the curator. Uh, shops. We don't need anything from the shops. Oh, we could sell our monstrous almanac. For a thousand? Yep. Hells, yes. Oh, man. Yes, hells, yes. Wow, that... For a couple skulls, that was pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. And we've got oh, we've got twenty one secrets now too. We could buy, we could make another thing if we wanted. Yeah, we could make another. We could, I got plenty of skulls. Been saving them up, so we're at fifty seven hundred. Plus, we got two thousand on the turn in. Yes, and so we've got we've got plenty of blue Cintillac still. Blue Cintillac. So, uh, yeah, next time we will come back and uh, we I will go we, to London. I think we're gonna be buying a new ship. No, I think we're gonna be upgrading our lifestyle. Yeah, we'll I, be able to carry so much shit. That does mean that we're not gonna. Uh, where is it? The Memento Mori. Yeah, it, it does mean that we're not going to uh, probably be getting this because it, I, I believe that this is a uh, for, for getting all the colors. Yeah, I think we're gonna be skipping over it. Well, what what what, what may happen is we'll get that ship and be just selling it. Uh, yeah, maybe. I don't. I don't know what happened. I've never had more than ship. one ship, so I don't know. What yeah. Well, we'll have a merchant ship, so maybe we'll just put that one in our hold as our escape vessel. But we'll deal with all that next time. Yeah, next time. Signing off, guys.